Hello everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. I am here today with, um, this is Partial Silicone Lux, sculpted originally uh, by Cassie Brace. Um, she was first in vinyl. I'm sure as many of you know, this is probably super boring background, so feel free to double click right through all of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was originally vinyl and then she was produced in partial silicone. Um, I believe she was poured by the Dainty Loft and then sold currently on the McPherson's website. So that's just a little bit of background on the sculpt of the doll. And she was painted and rooted by the very lovely and talented Kat Johnson. So that will be the doll in the background of today's video. Um, and Hugo as well. <laughs> sure, he will continue to pop up. Hi, kitten. <laughs> um, so yeah. That is what's going on in the background, but today you'll probably see her move around. Hugo's hopping around up and down on the couch right now. Um, anyway, she'll be in the background. Today's video is actually going to be about how I store my COAs. Um, I used to, and I still, I keep them just wrapped in plastic, like just in case, but I used to um, literally just keep them all in like a folder, <laughs> like in a bag, in a closet, you know, blah, 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 just like out of sight, out of mind. Um, but I do have a rather large collection. Um, so naturally I have a lot of COAs and um, I've seen other people store them in like, you know, just really fun, like creative ways. And now I'll caveat this. I have never made a scrapbook in my entire life, um, but that is how I decided to store my COAs. I was on Etsy one day and I saw this book that I'll pull out in a second um, that you could customize. And I thought that is so cute. And then I could like make my own scrapbook pages to put in it. And that's what I ended up doing. Um, yeah, like I said, just disclaimer, never made a scrapbook in my life. I'm not the world's craftiest person. I do not work in like a artsy job. It's just not my wheelhouse. So it's uh, not perfect by any means. Um, and it's not done yet. But I think it's turning out pretty well. Um, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I did show you this in another video. So you've already seen what it looks like, like on the outside, but I've actually done some pages now. So let me grab the book and I already turns out scrapbook pages um take up a ton of space so I switched out the binder rings but these binder rings are just like absolutely massive and ridiculous looking so I don't know but here's what it looks like so far and one of the pages um is falling apart so we'll get to that <laughs> but here's what it looks like so far um I found this on Etsy I forgot to look up the shop before I pressed start on this video so um I can't remember but if anyone like has to know feel free to message me on Instagram and um and I can let you know um so the original design was just like this and then like it just says oh baby with the stars but then you can customize it so I think she was very confused because I'm pretty sure she makes these for actual real babies with like their name and date of birth <laughs> but mine says certificates of authenticity so so there you go. That is what mine looks like on the outside. And then, sorry Lux, you're gonna go away for a little bit. Um, and then here's the inside. So we start with, there's like a protective page and you can see, cause these are like dyed wood, I guess. Like it's already kind of gotten on here. So I left in a blank page. Here's the first page. Now I don't think I'm gonna take out all the COAs because that would take forever. Um, but I bought scrapbook paper um, on Etsy and then I made all of these like I made like envelopes and little folders and like yeah you can see here like this edge is not perfect yeah I'm not a scrapbook maker guys but I tried and I think it turned out pretty cute like I I liked picking out all the patterns and you know I bought the washi tape and <laughs> all that jazz and then you know I would like stick COAs in all the little envelopes as you'll see as we're going through so there's the first page here's another page there's like another little envelope and I shut this one with some um just kind of this isn't gossamer but like just some little like ribbon I don't know why that word popped into my head 
then I made this little um, pocket with another, you can see Delilah's COA is in there. You can see these little, um, they call them like ephemera based, or ephemera? Am I saying that right? Guys, I'm not a scrapbooker. Um, but you can see all these little, uh, all these little things. Uh, oh, you can see, I got this scrapbook paper in Russia, so everything on the back is in Russian. Um, but there's the English side. Whoa, I'm losing it. So you'll see little things like that. Oh, here, that's kind of cute. You can like put it on the, <laughs> so I'm like discovering things right now. You can put it like this and then have it kind of like pop out. Yeah, this has been a fun project so far. Like I, I don't know what possessed me to do it because I've never made one in my entire life, <laughs> but it's been fun so far. Here's another page. I really like um, this design and then it has like the moon and stars on the back. You can see Larry by, um, Natalie Blick, his COA is in here. Um, I think the next page is the one that's falling apart. Yeah, this is the one that's given me so much trouble. I made this pocket, but then I didn't like leave enough space um, on the back, like when I folded it. So it's like popping off, it's like falling out. <laughs> this is the page that's given me a lot of trouble. So I don't have anything in this pocket right now, but maybe one day I'll like glue it or redo it or I don't know <laughs> so yeah and then I just put in these little um little designs on the side I really like this page um so within this pocket this is a big pocket and then I put a big envelope in here so I folded this and then I closed it with ribbon and there's a couple COAs in there I'm not going to open this because um it would take a while and I'm one-handed here because I'm holding the camera <laughs> But here's this page. And then there's a couple more COAs in there. Let me slide this back in. Here's another page. This little bunny is so cute. And then um, I think eventually if I ever like finish this, I think the goal is to like make like one page per COA and then do like one page that has like a name tag or something like that or like somewhere where it like says the sculpt names I don't really know honestly right now it's all just kind of a jumble like it just kind of stuck stuff in there like you can see like <laughs> I would like put in little pieces of paper like I think in theory like maybe I would make this kind of like a name tag and like do a little design on the inside and like maybe put like Soraya's name in there I don't know but this is what we're dealing with for now. It's just kind of incomplete. Like maybe I'll add more designs or make it a true scrapbook and add photos. I don't know. Guys, I'm so shy. I feel like I would never ever send photos to um, be printed. <laughs> I just think that would be a, a little scary for me. I like this one. It has the little rocking horse, teddy bear, bunny. It says baby boy. And then the background is kind of like a yellow with little hot air balloons. And then there's um, Luca by Laura Tuzio Ross. His COA is in there. Um, this is a big envelope. So you can open this one and you can see there's some COAs in there. Another little hot air balloon. Another pocket. There's a COA in here. I feel like this page, like... I, you can tell where I was getting lazy because there's no like background. I just stuck a pocket on here and moved on. Um, this page, um, there's not a lot going on. It's just a tiny little pocket with a name tag on the side. Um, I couldn't bring myself to cover up this design because I really liked it. And so I didn't want to like put a bunch of stuff on top of it, but maybe I should. I don't know. <laughs> so here's another page with a pocket and a COA. And then I just, you know, put a, I just cut out a bunch of paper that was left over at the end and made this page, basically. I really like this little helicopter with the moon and the ladder and the clouds. So cute. And then another big pocket. This one should have a COA in it. Yep, a couple. So there's that page. And then I really like this washi tape, too. It's super cute. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like there was some yellow marker or something that got on there. Um, here's another pocket. I don't think I have anything in this one. Yeah, I don't. 
And then, oh, I added little random stickers from time to time. So you'll see those pop up. You'll see some random washi tape. Yeah, guys, I just don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just like a super plain page. Nothing's in here. I don't think anything's in this page either. Like I said, this is not uh, done. <laughs> so here's a like pocket. You can put things in here, but I didn't put anything else because I couldn't bring myself to cover up the design again. I think we're getting to the end here. Um, here is a gigantic pocket. And then there's actually another envelope that I made in here, but I don't think anything's in this one. Maybe there is. Oh, here, yeah. I put in another one of those little, uh, one of those little, I think they call them ephemera. I don't know. I'm not a scrapbooker, guys. But one of those little, like, you know, just pieces of the paper inside of it. There's a couple COAs in the back of this pocket. Um, and then I think this is the last page. There's a little tiny pocket. Again, more like little pieces of ephemera in here. Um, I added this little, um, it's not really a stick, I guess it's a sticker, but it's like a little piece of, like a wood sticker with these two little footprints on it. I thought that was so cute. And I think that teddy bear is really cute. I think we're to the end. Yeah, we are. Um, and then again, I did not put anything in this pocket, <laughs> but eventually I perhaps will. But yeah, I think it turned out all right, considering I've literally never made a scrapbook in my in my life. Um, it was really fun to make. I made it and I did like most of it in like one day. <laughs> I just sat down, um, I had all the scrapbook paper and my washi tape and some glue and uh, <laughs> and this was the result. Oh, and a lot of YouTube tutorials. I'll give credit, <laughs> credit to that. I had to like look up how to like, you know, well like once you've made one, you can, you can pretty much make any one of these pockets in like different shapes <laughs> but like once you get the basics down and then I you know I looked up how to make these little envelopes but but yeah that's uh that's the scrapbook and it's how I am storing all my COAs now I I like this because like with other scrapbooks I was looking at um you're sometimes limited to the amount of pages that there are but this one obviously you know it's just these binder rings holding it together so you can add whatever um, so yeah, I, I, I do like how it's turning out, but I don't, it's kind of hard to, I don't like these humongous binder rings. I think I need to change them again. The pages are just so much thicker than I was anticipating. That was the only thing. It used to have smaller binder rings. Well, anyway, I will stop, uh, talking your ears off. Um, I have kittens running around wanting my attention, <laughs> so I will go, uh, play with them and have to prevent them from you know destroying my home so alrighty guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing um this scrapbook that I made so I will see you all again sometime I make no promises because I'm very inconsistent about when I make videos and upload so see y'all around bye